and we continue again and I did not record the combats and I'm very sorry about that. It was quite buggy and I had to reload a bunch of times because I attacked and nothing happened and then it froze and I could not get out of the combat or continue the combat. So there were some reloads. But um, I defeated a bunch of elephants. I hope we get another fight that I can show off. So, the great city, the great coastal city of Harappa sends fishing crews far up and down the surrounding coastline. Now one of the new crews has made a startling discovery. Wreckage of an ancient galley lying well preserved in shallow waters. After brief scouting, an experienced diver offers to explore there with their gang and promises a fixed payoff of the, for the Empire. They warn that the expedition isn't for the inexperienced. What is your choice? Mo our military can explore the wreckage alone, no. Right, so here we go towards that, here we go towards that, and here we go towards that. So it doesn't matter much. Ooh, extra faith. We should let the dead sleep, lest we offend their old gods. A professional should be used. A risk-free fee reward is worth losing some of the full bounty curious to see but um I would like some more faith to be honest as I'm fighting in a religion next to me and I want mine to be stronger so let's go for protect we do not offend the gods okay I may lose this scout and that's okay. Oh my god. Okay, next turn. Yeah. Religion stuff. Um yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> they attack again. Okay, here we go again. And down here as well. Okay. She is aggressive. Is is she is she aggressive, impulsive and forgiving? Host Pathfinder, okay. But she is losing. I save because in case it glitches out again, so I have to save before every battle. Four more healthy dudes. Oh my god, my my guys are getting a little bit worn out. Oh, but this is much better for deployment, this angle. This is a lot better. Okay, let's let's have my levies down here from the waters, right? And then the hoplites can be next to each other. This one is now an elite hoplite, it's great. No, not, not swap. Like this. Mm. Back here. Good. Good. Interesting. You have a swordsman right here, okay. Get the feeling I need to take this out before. That's some smart placement of theirs. That's some really smart placement of theirs. Here we go. 
Okay, what do you shoot at? The levees, okay. You attack with this one, the levees in melee, that's okay. And uh, now you have the high ground over here, that's bad. with this one hmm I want to get rid of this one. Oh, I can move here with this one that's good so this levy moves here Now we cannot move there anymore? Fucking weird, okay. Yes, oh, that was enough, that's good, okay. Do I need to have one here to push one up here? Ah, okay, I see. I may lose a hoplite here. Levy to soak a fire. Oh, good, good, he survived. Can win this now. unlucky that's really unlucky I can kill this elephant See you.
Okay, good. Okay, so, yeah, I'm winning this war. Good, at the moment no more attacks, so I can go pillaging here, but we can expand the religion. New tenants. Industry on capital, influence on holy sites. Stability on capital, ridiculous amounts of stability on capital, which means I could make a huge capital, cash on capital, science on capital, food on capital. Yeah, I would like to go for stability on capital. Testaments to the divine magnificence. I can't say I like humankind's way of war more but also less like there are mechanics in the way the war works in humankind that I prefer over civilization 6 but there are me mechanics that annoy me a lot more than anything in civilization 6 considering it would be bug free I like the way with the map, like that they have groups of units that fight each other and then get this terrain, the same as it was in Endless Legend. Okay, I say it like this, I like the war the most how it was in Endless Legend. At least that just the combat, I, I have to say the combat, I like the most how it was in Endless Legend. But I don't like how war works in any of these games, to be honest. I think all games could have better war overall mechanics as in how it affects diplomacy and such and in that way I like Civilization 6 the most or let's say I dislike the Civilization 6 the least in Endless Legend I just don't like how war is super rewarding and on lower difficulty it's too easy to just ruffle stomp all the AI and on higher difficulty you have to go to war or you lose so now we should have a ridiculous amount of stability in my capital I'll finish the, this one first and then I can go for stone rings I guess is this stability just for the city that builds it? Then I shouldn't build more in the capital because with the wonder and everything I should have a ridiculous amount. But I think that's something for future I need to figure out. So... And then this... Oh, it just gets destroyed! It doesn't just take damage, it gets actually destroyed. Well, I didn't know that. I thought it will just take damage every turn. It just gets wiped out. So that means the other dude over here just... I basically killed the other dude, eh? I, I killed this one now. Poopsie! <laughs> well, I, I know now. Also, can these units move? Oh, no, these units should just heal, I guess. Just go and heal. Thanks. These guys, these here are very fresh. I think these can go and get some pillaging done. Does pillaging heal? I don't know. No, you go back into the city and heal. Oh, 
much blood and death for so White peas? Are you mad? You're losing. Fight us. Um. I mean, I could expand you quite well, right? So you could really use some stability. Or Gobi could use some stability because Gobi is sexy, right? Although you can grow so big. So you should really get this stability going. Uh, where do I want this hula site then? It's just somewhere at the corner. Maybe here? Sure. Okay, next turn will be glorious. Wonder ahead. Nice. Now I'm doing really good in stars and I could enter the next era. Really. Whoopsie. Wonder can be claimed. Oh, nice. Angkor Wat! Look at this beautiful thing. It gives me 76 food. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Harappa will be a monster city. And because Harappa has all the stability in the world, I could build this district in this region, which is ridiculous, right? Before, let's do this now. I could pay with population so I can enter the new era now. Yeah, because other people are close if I want the free choice. So, I will spend some stuff. Do I, I could also have a beret down here, right? For 25, so I would need to push this stuff out. With population, so I get this before it's obsolete. Gobi, could you also get uh, this over here? Oh my god, yes! Anywhere more production? No, this is just by far the best. So. And you could also get one of these, but yours are mediocre, right? Like over here it says it's the best, but it's not actually the best. For you, I think I can skip it. You could get a harbor. Um, so here I wait. Now let's check what, what we have that we could go for. We could go for, oh, it's time for this. We could go for the Dutch. Money per traders on all city. Yeah, I'm a little bit warmongery for daddy. Money per population is really good though, because my cities are huge. Money per adjacent harbor. That's a lot of cash. And the f this is a naval... Transport. Okay. Could go for the... Hodenosuni, food performers on all cities, we could go all in on food, food for number of territories, this would be ridiculous, I could always push, do forced labor with them like mad. Um, science on lake, science on coastal water, I was told this is OP, <laughs> but I'm not sure if I go for this just because it's OP. Per adjacent research quarter, I see. So this is a shitload of science. And of course, the cool turtle boat. And the Ming. Cheaper civic stuff. Considering I haven't done much in civic, that's kind of nice. Stability. Oh, so I like stability. That means I can build a shitload of stuff. To influence per adjacent commons quarter is not that great though, but influence per district. 
interesting. The Moogles. Oh, I went for them in my other game. Industry per workers, faith industry, adjacent makers quarters. Oh yeah, I did like the Moogles back then. Industry per number of territories in your sphere of influence on capital. Mm. The Ottomans. That's cute. Faith per district. It's a lot of faith. Some influence. Influence per adjacent district. It's a lot of influence stuff. The poles, fortification, stability, is a land unit spawn, is fortified. It's kind of boring. I mean, the winged hussars are probably superior, but it's kind of boring. The Spanish, combat strength when unit starting the turn in a non-allied territory. Okay, that's nice. Faith per population, faith per adjacent district. Shall we go all in on faith? Like, I'm, I'm doing quite a strong faith game. I could push that. Assuming I won't do it the next time I play it. Influence on district. Faith, influence per adjacent mountain for the... Hmm. That's not very good. Like, I want a Naginata Samurai. That's the coolest shit ever. But, um... Terra is, is like, so what? Like, what am I using this influence on? If I want to go with influence and using on stuff, then I get better with the Ming that get more influence, get stability and the civic stuff. So the Ming are way better for influence stuff than the Edo Japanese. Of course, as a weeb and the Shogun 2 fan, and this is very appealing for me flavor-wise, but just trade-wise, it's one of the worst. Um, the Venetians, um, influence, influence per adjacent market quarters, oh, okay. Influence per number of trade routes, yeah, no? Okay, so the Dutch are really, really good, I think. The Joseon are, of course, good. Ming is good. I think, though, I will go for the Ottoman, because Faith per District is... No, for the, for the Spanish. I think we'll go for the Spanish. There is, well, the Mughals would be probably what we would have to go for if we were keeping the flavor. The Ming appealed to me also, and the Dutch. And I think the Dutch would be the best choice. But I will go for the Spanish because I want to go all in on faith. Also, this combat will help me in the current war, but I cannot take it right now because I want these districts first to be done. Problem solved. Oh, do I want a beret here as well? Yeah, absolutely. So, I'm pushing these berets now everywhere. Ah, that's four population. That's rather expensive, but it's fine. The city will grow quick enough. Any city that I missed? Yes, up here. You also... Everyone gets a beret. Oh, yours is not as good as the others. Wait, you already have a beret. But I could get one more. I mean, it's really good, right? Sure, let's get another beret for you. Good. Beret's done. Job's done. Oh, I could... Would it make sense over here? Nah, it's just mediocre. It's fine. Okay, time to become Spanish. 
Nobody expected that, right? Ah, look at the nice dress we were wearing. Yes, yes, yes. We become the Spanish. I am not Spanish. I am Catalan. Oh my god, they're, they're very close in score. So now the builders again would be the score. Oh, but no, we get, we get next, uh, next air ideas where we go for the stuff. So yeah, cool stuff. Can build stuff here. Mm. Food per horses, do you have horses? Not really. This is not yours, so you don't really have food per horses. Um, you have decent stability. Could give you a herber. Here to give some science. Could give you. An industry district here. That's fine, yes. Then this city. I feel like for you a harbor would be a smart choice, right? It says wow, okay, that's that's really good, okay. That's a huge harbor. And Gobi. Actually, a harbor up here would be really good, right? Because you need the growth at this point. <laughs> I killed your population. But I mean, it grows anyway super fast because of my berets. Okay, I'm pillaging down here, right? Yes, yes. Six turns, holy shit, that's long. And it's only 92 cash. But I'm not making much cash anyway, so we are. Need new grievance available. Sovereign, how can I help you? Oh, you're trespassing. Um. Your demands have been refused and your empires will go to war. I don't even know where they are. This will end in a white piece, anyway. What if I refuse demands? Uh. Yeah, the problem is truly I have no clue where they are. So a war will be like none of us doing shit. And then the war support dropping for both, ending in a white piece. So let's not do that. This way at least we can trade, I guess, right? Sure, what can I buy from you? Could buy stuff, stability on all cities. Cool. Oh, she's down here. Pretty good stuff she got, but it's so far away, it's across the river. Mm, I see. I see, there are like two continents with a narrow sea in between. Interesting. Only that I have only one coast in the south. 
I see what they wanted to us to offer with this map. Holy shit, his Nemosos is 28 population. Yeesh. No, I did not figure that. How to do a um, transfer pop between cities. Or how to steal population from another person, I don't know either, with immigration. Notification, not just relations that changed. Um. Twenty nine thirty. Holy shit, that's a lot of faith in here. That's great. Let's do this. I can claim a wonder. I completely forgot about that. When Jodaro is building this, it's great. I also want the holy side in here somewhere. Plus 20 is pretty good. Over here will also be a lot. Let's do this afterwards. Research. Oh nice, we got the city cap up. Since I'm winning wars with hoplites all the way. Where are the next units that I will get from the Spanish? Karak up here. Down here at Gunpowder Warfare, Saltpeter. Do I see that now on the map? Again. What can I do for you? The proposal is sloppy. Yeah, I just so I got it. I mean, the tech is unlocked by Era as well. So this is Salpeter. I've got it here. I still don't know what this is. I'm working on attaching these things. Still don't know what this is. Okay, I have one source of Salpeter as I can see. Out of curiosity, how much do you need? One. It's absolutely doable. So I could go for conquistadors. You're pillaging, you... Yeah, you are fine in healing. Go pillage some more in here. Great. Okay, I see. How far does reinforcement work? Okay, both retreated. That's two free victories for me. Good. Can I still heal this turn? I guess. Heal. Could move one further and heal. Good. Relation. I've seen this. Drawn, victory and victory. Good. Claiming a wonder. 
What do we have? Taj Mahal, stability, money, unclaimed city. What? What's claim city? Stability and production towards any shared project. That's cute. Faith, faith per district. St. Basil's is pretty appealing to me. And um, redistribute 50% of the food from the city to all cities. Interesting. I think I want to to claim. Wait, I could also go for this. This is just flat out faith. But I think I want this because this is a lot of faith. Good. We're going all in on whiskey and chocolatism. How is the religion looking? So I'm not... It's quite stable, eh? Would love to convert more here. No clue how I do that. How is my war going? I hope things are well. Okay. She's running over there, that's fine. I think it's time to move. Where do I want to move? Want to attack this city? I have to go here. Could also attack the vassal if that one is in. Let's just follow this one. Down here we're pillaging. That's fine. New civic. Fields of plenty. Okay, I see about immigration. And the scout idea is actually excellent. Heart, your empire is a land of plenty. Your cities are a quilt work of farms and small holdings that feed your hungry and ambitious people, while new methods of the age bring huge grain silos into your employed, transforming the farming landscape. As the sector scales up, you must now ask yourself if it is time the state ran the empire's farm. Oh my god. different about me hate filled well you brought this upon yourself with your betrayal I'm a hero nice punishing people who betray me very good population in Gobi unknown okay the Gobi is growing that's great we need that So this one will could probably go. Hmm, it has to go into the capital again because the capital is the most districts, right? It only makes sense here. It is only. Does it show me how much it is? No. We'll finish the cathedral here first, and then I'll see what I do next. 
Rapa is growing, Moendro Daro is growing, cool, cool stuff. Ransack successful, very good. Are you mad? I mean... Feel different about me. Welcome. Sullen. Let us speak honestly. They are sore from a recent defeat, but too weak to do anything about it. Whom are you fighting and losing against? So I pillage this. Good. No, three turns. Oh, was this done? This was no. Oh, I don't know. One of these was done, I guess. Oh, we have a fight over here. Good. I should have saved. You know what? Let's save now. Okay, um... Oh yeah, you attack me, that's fine. These are both my lands, so I can heal in here, right? Not a victory. Very good. In Harappa, I can build stuff. Good. Oh, it wants me to build this on top of other stuff? No thanks. Even if it's good, I don't want to replace other districts that are already good. Build it here, it's still 27.
Good, and then this this wonder somewhere. Oh, I wish wonders would matter where you place them. Because I would like to build pretty, but um, it's not really viable if I block a tile. Wait, is this worked? Do wonders work adjacent tiles? They are considered districts, but stuff that is... Then it doesn't show the calculation for things that get better with a district adjacent. And they work all adjacent tiles. Okay. It just doesn't show. Interesting. So I want that here. Yeah, the amphitheater will get better. Therefore. Hmm. Oh, your, your stability goes down quite a bit. Yours is still fine, you build the harbor. You get the stability up again, that's great. And you're fine in stability. So the next holy site will be for Mohenjo. Okay. Close to a war victory, very nice. Pillaging here and here, very good. You heal a little bit. I guess I could go and pillage this copper. Only 16. Can't do it better than that at the moment. But you could surely have an amazing harbor, right? No? And I could attach this to you. What are the stuff that I need? Expansionist stars are for the Spanish, really. That's tough. It'll take a while. She will decline it again. Don't want war with them at the moment. So let's read this. Target another empire's outpost or administrative center with an army to forcibly add it to your empire. This will take the army a few. A few turns and can be interrupted. You cannot trigger multiple annexations at the same... Okay, okay, so I could take stuff like this, an outpost. Or this, not the city.
Okay, that's pretty cool. And the outposts are all the ones that do not have population signs there. Could I also take this, or is this not an outpost? Because it's attached to a city. Can I take something that is attached to a city? So, I can go and... Cannot be done not valid, okay. Tile is not visible, oh, okay. Ah, but I can take stuff like this, okay. So I really want that down there, but I will not use this army for that. No, okay. Okay, I understand, that's cool. Wait, this is an output, well... In allied territory, cannot be done in allied territory. Okay, that makes sense. That certainly makes sense. I think you just heal another turn and it's fine. End this war. End it White piece, are you mad? You're losing. Ransack successful, very good. Which one? Wait, both? Really? Nice. Okay, so then... Um, am I at war with you because you're the vassals? How do you do? I am, okay. All cavalry! Oh, you're so fucked. Beautiful. Now build a city around it. I will also have to make a let's play on lower difficulty where I build pretty. But the goal isn't really winning with everything and doing great, but just make a pretty big city. Um, oh, okay, I can't do this. Okay, fine, then this one comes here. And, although I don't need two up there, right? And deploy. Good. This one can move here. That should allow this one to move here. Good. Bye bye. That was quite a bit of damage. Oh, they can move after shooting. Cool. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Next turn you will be done with... Oh, more elephants! What do we have in here? Two elephants and two swordsmen. Go and siege me, I'll wait for the pillage here. Building here. Seventeen and some science, and then I can build maybe more farmers' quarters around it or something. Wouldn't be bad, right? Or would I want some industrial district somewhere? Although the stability is a bit an issue in here, so I should probably not go for too many more districts at the moment. And instead just get industry on river. This is a lot of woodland, right? Yeah, and industry and woodland. That's fine. And food on harbor. Cool. Good story. This city can grow like mad. As ah, stability issues do. Then build this. This gives stability. And this. You have a lot of woodland, right? That's some forest and woodland, yeah. Get this afterwards, and then of course food from river, because you have a lot of river. And since I built harbors, food on harbor. Sure. Good. Close to the victory, very good. Oh, nice, now I can demand stuff. Okay, this is interesting, but I need to pee, I'll be right back. Do I need to be at war with someone to annex their stuff with my expansion ability? So Atorka would be this one. I would love this. I want this. But I probably cannot add two because now I'm... No way, total 200. That's great. Mizar. Shertan, which one? That's this one. That wouldn't be bad, right? That would be quite good. Mizar would be the one next to Chertan. Or Alniat, then I have a bit more consecutive land. Become vassal to the Spanish. So I could also say... I could just make her my vassal, what? Or is that the purple? Come on, vassal to the Spanish for 100. So if I do not take any land, then I could make, well, I could take Mizar. Mizar would be cheap, right? Or Einlad would also be cheap. But then I cannot do the expansion. I think you can't cancel these because they are the, the the original reason why we went to war. 
So now the question is, do I want some land or do I want to make them my vassal? No, val I, I can do this. See? I cannot force surrender because I am asking for too much. Now I could do force surrender. They would be my vassal. Do you want to be my vassal? Right, and I could even ask for one more. For an outpost I could ask. Yeah, so the question is really just vassal or pick more land. Really? So, which one? Misa is the one over here. Could do this. Okay, let's figure out what, how vassalization works. Eh? Force surrender. Look, look upon my magnificence. Sullen. Now, oh, I met someone, Tell and they are me. now. So now I'm also liege of them. Cool. I have two vassal because my vassal had a vassal. Proposition for you. Oh, I've met Marbozy. Like Who is good. Ghana? Sure, let's trade. Accepted. He's not very strong. He's benevolent, cool headed, and vindictive. Hmm. Yeah, Spanish versus Aztecs. Sadly, they had no Jaguar warriors and they had no conquistadors because I just became the Spanish. Oh, they have Saltpeter in here. And more elephants back here. They got a lot of land down here. Wow, okay. And here are a lot of. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Something to dump all this money I got and establish myself down here. Can't do here, someone else is doing that. Could Wait what? What? Why I could take a mod <laughs> What why could I instantly take this? Pro is it because they were very aligned with what I had and therefore happy to join or was this a bug? Um, yeah, I know my vassal is doing the second best. <laughs> and then black. And then quill. But yeah, black is doing pretty good. I mean, they start with a lot of good stuff. Okay, and in here I could start to dump some money, right? 
plus four. Let's dump some more, plus six, that's fine. Let's pro let it progress a little bit. Cool, I got another city. Now I'm way above the threshold, but that's fine. This, this city has already a lot of districts. Um, let it grow and um, oh, adjacent to a lot of stuff from Marbos here it is. <clears throat> a harbor would be nice so I can have a boat down here. I need open borders with marbles here, I feel like. Cost some stability, but it's okay. A harbor and then you build the stability buildings, that's fine. And then the production stuff here. Good. Now marbles here. <clears throat> Holy shit, that's a lot of cash. No. That's too expensive, I can ask when I actually have a boat down there. I'm not in a rush for that. Okay, cool. I assume I cannot take this from my vassal. Um, right? Cannot be done on your own empire. Yeah, it's considered my own empire. Cannot be done on an in an allied territory. Oh, yeah, I took this. Cannot be done in allied territory. Okay, it's my ally. So. I cannot really use this expansionist here. Which is fine. I, I went Spanish for the faith. Headbanging history, with cultural influence sky high, the empire loves nothing more than a good story. And now a great one has come to light. Sadly, it begins with the death of one of the empire's most beloved statesmen, an influential figure in Urkes. Apparently, reliable sources in the city swear that this lord died after running into his bedchamber's door frame while chasing a half-dressed foreign ambassador. The Lord's son, who has inherited his father's mantle, is begging that you silence the truth and promote a story that he died while hunting a great beast. Even if this is death is quite stupid, it is the truth. History should know it. To preserve the honor of the statesman and his family's name will grant his son's wishes. Nah, we'll, this is fine. They, they shall know. It's hilarious. They will joke for years about it. Makes the people happy, right? I hope so. Um, This place has shitloads of stability. no real region attached to it so it's really not the best it's flat science I could try to build a bit of science right and here it's some extra it gets a bit more stability sure let's do some science stuff in here And Phaistos has finished the holy site. Do I have a ridiculous spot for this? 
Yeah, over here, but I don't really want it over here because we already have a district here. A research quarter, so I could build more research quarter around this. Or over at Lich. But I could also just get an industrial district somewhere here. Wouldn't be bad either. Or some food on this river. Let's get the food there. Yeah, I know. Okay. Oh yeah, I should attach that to Gobi, of course. Because that is the expansion thing. Star, very good. Five more is not really easy at the moment, so I have to go for other stuff. District is very doable. Okay, um, so I'm building the wonder here in 15 turns. I'll have that. Afterwards, I can claim another one. Research wise, I'm going for the seafaring mastery. I could already build the, the quadririm if I understand that correctly. Yes. Damaged by consecutive turns in deep water. So I'm not even sure how far this one could go over here. Or if I have to truly wait 12 turns. I'll move it up because I would really like this. And this place is huge. Some more production would be nice, right? Is there an obvious spot? Over here would be pretty good. Or we get some science and extra production. You know, over here would be pretty good, right? So we can do this. Food on harbor is also good because I, I have a harbor here. There would be a lot of food. Let's do that next. Like this. Can always spam out population because the city is huge. Or do the scout trick and um, move them over. Okay, but um, I will end it for today or for the moment. Maybe I'll play later again. Um, because I'm really hungry and I need some food. So, um, yeah, thank you all for watching and see you next time.